From getting into a fight and assaulting a woman outside a bar to leaving kids in a house filled with firearms, here's Ezra Miller's controversial past explained. In April 2020, an intense argument in a bar ended with Miller going haywire on a woman. A video popped up online showing Miller getting into quite a heated situation outside a bar. Then, out of nowhere, he started choking a woman. Later, Variety confirmed that the situation got so bad that staff from the bar had to throw the actor off the premises. Sounds insane, right? But there's more to the story here. Fast forward two years, and the woman from the video decided to spill the beans, claiming that the fight with Miller was supposed to be a playful joke. Her friend was the one who created the problem when he told Ezra that he heard the actor didn't want to fight. Instead of keeping their cool, the Flash actor got so angry at that statement that they turned the joke into a dangerous physical fight. You could say it seemed like Miller was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But the thing is, they have a history of picking fights and stirring people up. Just two months before this incident occurred, Ezra hopped onto Instagram and dropped a bombshell of a video, delivering a message to a particular white garb-wearing group in North Carolina. That message was clearly a threat, as the actor told the group to cause harm to themselves with their own firearms. You could also see how lightly Miller took that statement, because they signed off with a cheeky, talk to you soon. To make matters worse. They wanted to make sure nobody thought it was a joke and wrote a caption along with it which clearly said, this is not a joke. Even though they're known for messing around with people, this time, they meant every single word. Thankfully, their remarks online didn't create an actual problem with the Klan, but their actions became much worse in the following years. It started with an incident in March 2022, when Ezra was charged with disorderly conduct and harassment. They were arrested for being allegedly involved in not just one, but two separate incidents at a karaoke bar in Hawaii. According to the Hawaii Police Department report, the actor became worked up by people singing at the bar and started using some not-so-nice language. They ripped the microphone out of the hands of a poor 23-year-old woman who was just trying to sing her heart out. Then things became much worse when they jumped at a guy playing darts. This was no ordinary Saturday night bar fight, though. The bar owner had to step in multiple times and ask Miller to calm down. In the end, the actor faced the consequences of their actions in April 2022 and pleaded no contest to the disorderly conduct charge via Zoom, but the judge wasn't playing around and slapped them with a $500 fine. You'd think after having so many run-ins with the law, this actor would learn their lesson and stay out of trouble. However, in the same month, they were arrested on a second-degree assault charge. The incident occurred during a private get-together in Hawaii. Apparently, things escalated, and after being asked to leave, Miller ended up throwing a chair at a 26-year-old woman, which hit her in the forehead. Guess Guess what? That woman got a half-inch cut because of it. It doesn't stop there. Around the same time, a couple also filed a restraining order against the actor after Miller allegedly burst into their bedroom and threatened to bury them. Can you imagine the Flash actor getting into trouble so many times that in just three weeks they'd become the subject of 10 police calls? While these incidents clearly showed that the actor had a habit of acting out, in June 2022, people soon found out that there were deeper psychological problems at play when Miller was accused of grooming a child. According to court documents filed in Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Court, a couple said that Ezra had allegedly been manipulating and controlling their daughter Gibson, also known as Tokata Iron Eyes, ever since they met in North Dakota back in 2016. Chase and Sarah claimed that the Flash actor took an interest in getting to know Gibson, but things soon took a dark turn when they were accused of grooming the child from the tender age of 12. The allegations go even further. The couple claimed that Miller had been sedating Gibson over the years using illegal substances substances. They even said that the teen once overdosed on LSD while she was in his care. Also, after the protective order was granted, Iron Eyes would later escape from her family to rejoin Ezra. This once led to an incident where the actor allegedly slammed a car door on the mother's arm. Later, the parents said that Miller showed signs of cult-like behavior and could have severely manipulated their daughter to act in their favor, even after they were separated. But things got weirder when Gibson went on Instagram to address the 
the situation. She sort of downplayed her parents' concerns, saying that Miller had provided nothing but loving support and protection. She also said she deserved to have authority over her own body. What's interesting about this, though, is that Chase and Sarah later told people their child doesn't have a phone. This obviously made people wonder whether Gibson actually wrote the statement herself, or if Ezra was somehow behind the whole thing. But after this incident, many other cases started making headlines, saying that the Flash actor had been in charge of a cult back in 2020, where they manipulated and controlled people. It all started when he rented an Airbnb and transformed it into a makeshift commune. Insider then spilled the beans, revealing that the actor used to roam around barefoot and acted like a big shot. Not only that, but Miller also put up some strict rules. For example, nobody was allowed to disagree with them during spiritual speeches, and people weren't allowed to use their phones either. Now here's where things get a tad spooky. Some people in this gathering reported feeling like they were in a trance, and a woman revealed that when she was 18, Ezra slept with her as part of a ritual. So it seemed like even two years later, the actor was carrying on the same cult-like techniques to allegedly groom children. This had become a pattern, as there was another incident in June 2022 when a mother came forward with allegations against Miller. The news around Chase and Sarah's court filing had hadn't even died down. When a mother and her 12-year-old child were granted a temporary harassment prevention order against Ezra, they claimed that the actor menaced their family one evening in their neighbor's home. Not only that, but they acted inappropriately towards a minor. Soon after this incident started making waves on the news and the harassment prevention order was granted, Miller deactivated their Instagram account. As if that move wouldn't seem suspicious at all. Many people thought that the actor was waiting for the news to die down and keep a low profile before they got into some serious trouble in the midst of the rising charges against them. But Ezra became the subject of the worst headlines once again in August 2022, when the actor was accused of burglary. That's right, they allegedly broke into a home in Vermont and stole several bottles of alcohol. This wasn't just a minor robbery because the Vermont State Police became involved after reviewing surveillance footage and gathering statements. It seemed like the police had probable cause to charge Miller with felony burglary. That's a pretty serious accusation, for which the actor had to face considerable music in court. I wish this was the only crime Miller was charged with that month, but this troublesome actor was again on the police radar. Police were tracking down a missing woman and her three children, who were allegedly staying at Ezra's firearm-infested Vermont estate. The mother had previously told Rolling Stone that Miller helped her and her children escape an abusive relationship and offered them to stay over at the property. But the those reports also claimed that there were unattended firearms strewn around the home. When the Vermont State Police finally found Ezra, the actor told them that the mother and her children left two months ago and hadn't been back since. But according to the court documents, it seemed like Miller could have said that to evade the emergency care order. Who knows what the truth of the matter is? So there you have it. From leaving a bunch of kids in a house filled with firearms to getting into a fight and choking a woman outside a bar, this was Ezra Miller's controversial past explained.